Steve here from Foobabundi Airsoft. Well, I'm not dead, I am still alive. I know it's been an age since we uploaded any videos on any new products, but this one's worth been worth waiting for. So, uh, as you might have guessed, this one's from SEMA. So, new box design from SEMA. Uh, quite nice, looks like they've upped the game. Uh, they must have got a marketing executive or a product manager to, to redesign the box. But a box is a box, but what are we interested in? Well, let me show you. So, SEMA have uh, always been known for, shall we say, entry level price point guns. And they do a range uh, which is a CM.5, like 51525, things of that nature. And we've had those in the past, but the polymer and, or the plastic has been very flimsy. You know, you walk into a, a, a twig if you're out in a woodland field or a, a doorway if you're playing CQV and you probably end up with a, a bit of the rail or a bit of the gun actually in your hand or dropping to the floor. Uh, Seem to have addressed that and they're now bringing out their CM6 range. So uh, this is, as you might have guessed it, looks like an M4 uh, but takes an AK mag. As you can see it is empty. It is a high cap. So SR47. Uh, for those of you that are in the know, it was a real weapon. It was a prototype for uh, US Special Forces. Uh, there was like three prototypes, never really made it onto the battlefield. Uh, and there has been previous SR-47 style rifles or weapon platforms within Airsoft previously. The first one was the Hurricane E, which you had to get a, uh, a donor gun and then you got the kit and you made it all up and it was very expensive. Then Bolt came out with their one. Uh, which made it a little bit more affordable. Uh, but if you want a different look and you don't want the expense of a, a bolt rifle, uh, the new CM uh, or the SEMA SI47, uh, 160 quid. Now it is a polymer gun, so polymer body, polymer rail. Uh, you can't really see it. Let me just turn it over so you can see the magwell. It has got a metal gearbox, as you would expect. Adjustable crane stock on this one and on the other models that are in the range. It does come with a 84 uh, NICAD battery, a three pin uh, slow charger, and also, what nice to see, this whippy thing cleaning rod and unjamming rod and a set of instructions I've got to say this is probably the worst set of instructions I've ever seen uh, it doesn't relate to a great deal on the gun but they're in there uh, and if you are of the the male of the species you'll probably not read them anyway so we'll just put those to one side so the gun itself is is lightweight it feels robust the rail is is solid you know I'm twisting that and I'm not getting anything you've got pop of iron sights uh, Nice to see on this one because it's 762, you've got a, an enlarged ejection port like you would have on a, a real SI47. They haven't just copied a, an M4 style. With it being AK, you've got the AK mag release underneath in the magwell, and also if you're an M4 user, you've got the mag release there. Uh, this one is not fake ambi. Let me get you some of the other ones out in the range. So if an AK flavor or a, an M, you're looking more of an M4 mag. So you've got M4 with a UARX rail. Just get that. So these are a, a 10 inch rail system uh, with fake ambidextrous. So the fire selector on the right hand side doesn't move, neither does the uh, bolt release. And the same with the fake mag release on that side. You see the fire selector works there. They do feel really nice, they feel solid. Uh, so that's the URX rail one. You want to go even a little bit thinner, a little bit more low profile, more modern day shooter. You've got the key mod, again, that's a uh, 10 inch rail uh, with a 12 inch barrel. Again, you get the, the fake ambi. You also get like on both of the M4s, you get a Magpul style trigger guard which just adds to it. And the last one that we've got at the moment, and there is another URX one out there. So you've got an M-Lock one, which is a 13 inch rail. This does feel really, really nice. Um, they have also got, all of them have got sling plates, which is a nice addition on a 
gun of this price point. The single point sling mounts at the back are not deep enough for a single point quick detach, uh, but you have got, like I said, you have got uh, right and left handed sling points on there. You've also got a sling point on the uh, M lock rail if you wanted to put it in. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what do they what do they perform like? Uh, we're going to do some accuracy tests um, a little bit later on, and we'll show you that. Uh, the real cool thing that these do have, which guns at this price point you don't often see, quick change spring facility, and they also come with a MOSFET. So it's a protection MOSFET, it's not a programmable MOSFET, and it does play a really nice tune once it gets plugged in. So let me just plug one in, or plug a battery in. I'm just going to pull that off, so I'll get straight to it. Let's see if you can hear this once it goes in. So standard timing connectors. There you go. Uh, so you get a bit like R2D2. Maggie's empty, I'm just gonna fire it. It is a micro switch trigger as well. So you, if you hear, you do try one, you can actually hear it when you've not got a battery in. And then full auto. So respectable. Uh, like I said, this battery is not fully charged and it is only an 8.4 NICAD. They are rated up to 7.4 LiPo. As with anything, you really don't need to go above 7.4. So we're going to cut the video now and what we're going to do is we'll show you on the chrono uh, we're going to use the SI-47 and then we're also going to do some accurate tests and then you can see how accurate they are straight out of the box. So bear with us one second. Right guys, so we're in the range and we are going to use our X-Cortec 3500. Uh, the mag's loaded with Probo Point 2s. Uh, so let's see what this uh, SEMA SI-47 can produce. Then a burst of full auto. Right guys, so uh, over a 10 shot average, we're getting uh, 322 with average of 12.9 per second. That's on the 8.4 uh, NICAD that comes with it. That's only 1100 milliamp. Uh, we had a high of 323.7 and a low of 320.1. Around about, you know, less than three FPS over uh, a 10 shot average. We've not bedded this in yet, we've not tried it with the hop, so what we're now gonna do is we're gonna put it on a range test and see what the accuracy is like. Right guys, so we're gonna this. do a little bit of a range and accuracy test. Uh, we're set up around about uh, 20 meters away from the target. Uh, again, we're using point twos. We are indoors, so there's no wind. Uh, we haven't dialed the hop in as yet, but we're just gonna give it a go and see what we get. So we'll do some on semi, and then we'll do a burst on auto and see what the uh, the groupings are like. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so other than the first one, which was me getting my eye in, uh, seemed all very much nice tight grouping. We'll uh, go and have a look at that now and uh, then do a full shot on full auto. Okay, so we're down at the target. As you can see, that was my uh, first sighting shot, which was absolutely terrible. Uh, but once I got my eye in, as you can see, a uh, couple, probably two, three in the, uh, in the red, and then the majority over to the left hand side. Got one slight flyer down there. Shots up around the three to five o'clock mark. What we're going to do, we're going to put it into full auto now and uh, see how it performs on full so, auto. Uh, full auto with the SEMA SI47. Again, guys, uh, first burst, uh, that was me shooting a little bit low, uh, but once I adjusted, as you can see, uh, target's pretty much annihilated. It's a bit of a cheater, he didn't count hit, shout hit when we hit him the first time, so we had to give him a full auto burst. Uh, but for a gun that retails at around about 160 quid, with a quick change spring MOSFET battery and slow charger, uh, great starter weapon, you know, or a backup as well. 
Uh, as I said, we haven't checked the hop for uh, maximum range. Uh, this is just 20 meters we've got upstairs. Clean the barrel uh, and dial in the hop, put some more BBs through it. You've got a pretty good skirmishable weapon straight out of the box. If you want any more info, uh, please do send us a message either through uh, YouTube or through Facebook at Fubar Bundy Thanks very much for watching.